All right, so in today's video, we are going to be watching a gold two Kiriko. The description we had was played Kiriko too much like DPS, but don't really think they played too much like DPS. They actually thought they actually healed a lot. Well, a, a good enough amount. We'll find out. All right, here we go. <clears throat> so let's see if there's a bunch of damage. If the healing was enough. That was that was the that was the uh, the suggestion here. The healing was enough. Also, chat. Um. If I miss anything on the bingo card, let me know. We'll check it off, and we'll go from there. So far, um, nothing has happened outside of the other team rolling. Wait, Doom's on you. There's a cleanse. They're at your spawn door. Now, keep in mind, they made the Route 66 changes to this map, so that way the spawn doors weren't as aggressive as they are. And let me know if I'm missing anything so far, chat. I, I, obviously, there's overly, overly aggressive tank. That part is already going to be checked off the card. Um, you know, it's funny because you said you went mainly DPS, Kiriko. So far, it's been mainly you just healing your teammates, but they're also going back to spawn. So are you actually healing enough? I can't really tell you. They already have beat. You know, it's funny. I say they already have beat. I didn't realize it's already been a minute and a half in their spawn or in your spawn. You know, if I had to check off overly aggressive support right now, I would not be able to with what I'm watching. Wow. Okay. Let's just like, let's just take a second here and let's go look at this bingo card. I've seen frontline support. Their support's already been super aggressive in your spawn. Okay. So that, that first box is checked off your mercy at the beginning. Long team fight. I think we can explain that because that felt like it was just a long two minute team fight that um, just constantly went on there over and over again. Uh, tank out of LOS. We did see the tank out of LOS. Goes in 1v5. Uh, not yet. No. Aggressive tank. I agree with that one. CC'd? Oh, yeah. CC'd is also a thing. Yes. Especially with Meg. Okay. Good call. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. All right. You know what? This is good enough for me, chat, because um, the cast, yeah, this is good enough for me. This one is checked off after a team fight is won or lost. Everyone stands on the point. It doesn't go for any map control. This is a perfect opportunity to go for map control. Like, at this point in the game, this is where you want to take this high ground, right? So, do you see, like, Earl's, uh, uh, Big Earl's 24-hour service, no refunds here? Before this, this is where you want to take this map control. Three on the cart right now is not going to give you the cart here. So what you want to do is you can get one cart and get the same value by just having people up here deny them from getting this high ground. And when you do that, this is what happens. This is why it's checked off because it's the idea of like understanding we need to get this map control to make this a lot easier for my team to be able to make a play. That's why you do that. That's why it's on the card. That's why I talk about it all the time. Now, I'm not saying it's going to go perfectly, but getting in that mindset will definitely help. Anyway, that's checked off the bingo card. I went into a really uh, advanced way of saying and get off the cart. Technically, actually, Kiriko should be the one to stand cart. And um, because you can TP to your team for a team fight. <laughs> but now you've given them that map control and they can take a team fight right in front of you. That is, I thought that dude was going right off the map. What about spamming cooldowns? I mean, that's just, I think it's a free space at this point for pretty much everybody. I spam cooldowns. I want to see if there's any ults used here. Like, for example, team has no ults. A zero LM ult? Who was who ulted ahead zero LMs? I'm not I don't know, like it's such a hard Like I know Kiriko ulted that, but like I I don't even know if I count that, do I? Cause like Whenever I I guess you could. I guess you could. No, I guess you could. All right, there you go. Honestly, chat, Kiriko just ulted and got zero limbs. I mean, not Kiriko, uh, Cassidy. So we can check that off regardless. I mean, we don't have to even like go too deep into that one. So um, zero limb ult. We're actually really close to a uh, bingo already. And if this is a 30 minute game, there's probably a chance we're gonna be able to get that overtime spawn. Chat has seen enough of my my spectating videos to let you know that Kiriko ultimate does not need to get a limbs. It's just really good at creating value for your teammates and forcing the team to have to back up. Would you like to get a limbs with it? Absolutely. Oh, without a doubt, I think you would. Um, but at the same time, it, it like just using it is is already going to be enough half the time for your team, or more than half with your team. That's why I'm always like use Katuna, use Katuna, use like cause I just think it's such a good ability that isn't used as much as it could be. You know what I mean? Your team wins this fight. Oh wait, I see why. A lot of us zero live outs. Okay, we got one out, we got two ults, we got three. Four ults, five ults. Let's see. 
I don't think that's an alt domino. I don't think that was enough. <clears throat> yes, frontline support is checked off right at the beginning. Well, there goes, you know what? We talked about, oh, well, that's an easy one to check off real quickly here. Uh, goes in 1v5, is checked off the box. But I, I, I want to show something. You see the difference here? How this team reacted on going into the next point in comparison to this point? Do you see what they're doing, the difference here now? They have one on cart, and they have four hold up. What, what the heck is... Where did you come from? That Lucio is kind of going on an optimistic flank, whether or not it's good or bad. So we're going we're gonna to do that one, okay? If you take that high ground, it's important. And on second point, this team does that and gets a free LM and makes it really hard for this team to regroup. And apparently Cassidy's just having a good time. All right, here we go. I would like to see you use your Katsune pretty early here. Uh, I always talk about how second point is so important on Route 66 to keep this map control because like second point is so hard to push sometimes. But if you keep this map control like you are, so like I would very much like to see you be really aggro with this Katsuna. You could even just go from the roof here, and then the fox will go all the way down there, and you'll make some, you'll get some value off of that. I'm grateful. You really are going for that DPS. You know what though? You mentioned how like you have, you like thought you did enough healing so far. I feel like you haven't had a heal that much. And what I mean by that is like things like the the team fights are happening in this like interesting spot where like it's not the lack of healing from you. Well, that's not good. That was did your. Okay, wait a second. Did I, I? I have to. I need to rewind this for a second. What oh, was a high noon? Oh, let me just let me just see. Yup, that looks like a high noon to me. Is that is that a high noon? Yup, that's a high noon. All right, I'll see you later. What the? Oh, good. Good thing they got reds. Okay, so we have one, two, three ultimate shoes. I gotta say, I'm not liking. I'm not, I think you could have used Katsune quite a few times now. I'm just saying. There we go, thank you. All right. <laughs> I don't think I really missed anything there on the bingo card. Hold on to ult for too long. There's a possibility that I might just check that off to check that off. I can be a little bit lenient with that one. I feel like I feel like I almost have to check off the Katsune one because if, if I don't see somebody using their Katsune right away, then so I, I don't. I'm trying to figure out what your what your play is here. You're playing really far back, and then you just kind of throw a cleanse at your mercy. It hits a wall. So what I would like to see you do is play a little bit more even like that medium range to where like you can actually Demon help your teammates case. a little bit more and not have to like, your teammates aren't waiting on the carrier pigeon to bring the uh, the heals over to you. You know what I mean? As Kiriko sometimes, you will play further back, but I feel like right now, you... I don't know how to explain it. I do like your damage output though. All right, we're just gonna use cleanse to use cleanse there. We're gonna start spamming those. I am gonna check off spamming cooldowns. You know what? It's really hard for me to check off spam and cooldowns when you're not using your swift step ever. But I think you've spammed your Suzu randomly. You're just like, I have Suzu. I'm going to use it here in a second. This is a good Suzu opportunity in a second here. That was a Suzu that we watched. That was certainly a, an ability. Um, I would very much like to see... A, I, I want you to Katsune this fairly early. This is like the part where like, if you do it right now, you're gonna get them into overtime spawns, you're gonna win this. If you all stack cart, what's gonna happen now is they're gonna have an opportunity to make a play. All right. Still waiting on this Katsune. There you go, a little bit. I, I wanna say though, that was pretty risky. And, and the reason why I think that was pretty risky at that point is because you just turned your back to their whole team and didn't pop it. Like, you just pop that and, and then go with it. Like, if you wait forever on that ultimate, what's gonna happen is, is like, that Doom punches you at the same time that you randomly, you know, you pop your Katsune while not looking. I, I just think you need to start, you're doing okay with Katsune, but like, you have had like five, 10 second windows where you could use it. And honestly, you take that five, 10 second windows over the game and you do that like three or four times, you might have an extra Katsune that game, see? And then you can spam that. Be careful with your Katsune usage here. Not your Katsune, your um, cleanse. I'm okay with that cleanse. Yup. Oh, yeah. This is some Overwatch. This is... 
This is just everybody's going for their 1v1s. I Who wins this? I, I don't even know what's going on right now. How has your Winston been alive this whole time? I've seen your Winston at like 10 HP like 20 times this team fight. There is no way you're winning this. You're winning this. Oh, nice. Uh, let me check out spamming cooldowns too. I, I've seen enough. To, you know, we're counting it as a cooldown, but it's spamming cooldowns to me. Um. Oh yeah, everyone stacks in the objective too. We can check that one off. Good call. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you, like, you've actually done a fairly good job of your balance of damage and healing. So, like, I, it's been, like, okay to me. I mean, I'm not saying it's perfect, but, like, I expected you to just be, like, launching, you know, left clicks the whole game while being on the flank. So, it hasn't been, like, terrible. Let's see what happens here. Question mark on the junk rat? Not yet. Ooh, okay. Yo, that's what we like to see right there. Nice shot. Ooh, okay. Wait a second. Huh. Okay, now nothing's happened. I'm trying to see what, what I... You know, it, it's interesting. I, I'm not gonna... I, I think your position is fine right now. I think you tunneled a little bit onto the Doom, but you have a ball, so you're fine. Yeah, that was... That was good. I actually... I can't sit there and be like, oh, I don't like your position in here. I, I think, like, I'm pretty happy with it so far. You're playing off angles a bit. You're putting some damage output in. You're checking for your teammates' HP. Like, that is good. I like that. Doot, doot, doot. You know what? Worth. You're going to get res anyway. I'm sorry. What is that Moira doing right now? I'm confused. I What in the world? I mean, listen. I understand DPS and his, DPS and his Moira, but like... Okay, you've been kind of dominating on... What is going on right now? Is this Widow going for that? Going for it again? Here we go! Hey! I'd like to think that you were watching the Kiriko video and just heard Kitsune. 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 You know what I mean? Uh, good play by the other team. Did no one pushes together? I mean, yeah, that, that happens in top 100, too. That is certainly a cleanse you were throwing. I, I do want to reiterate again. Don't be afraid to use your swift step. Not another Wrecking Ball. But to like reposition and like get out of areas, like it, it, I, I, your swift step usage has been very limited. It's a very quick cooldown. It can be very effective. Good cleanse. Nice job. Like it's such a short cooldown that like it, it's okay to use it occasionally. I'm okay. So, I, I, I'm, okay, we gotta stop for a second. I'm checking off, uh, no one peels for the supports, and this is our first bingo. I, I, I need to understand this very quickly, because we were just watching this. You have a Mercy in front of you on your team that is low HP. You also have Swift Step. If you keep your Mercy alive, that Mercy is gonna keep you alive, and then you're gonna win that team fight. Instead, you don't even try to peel for your support. You prioritize damaging. That's not what you want to do. It, 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 swift Step. Make a play. I, I, I want to see you use that ability a little bit more. I, I, I really believe you're not using it as much as you could. I have to sneeze in a second. Swift step to your Sombra. I don't even know what to say because I'm watching no swift step. Turns your back to their team, so remember that. This is this is fine. Just be wary of your positioning sometimes. Okay, what's the play here? Kitsune? Kitsune? Nice. Good job. Good Kitsune usage for the most part. That's one else. That's two. We need a ball out or Bob. Simwall? Two ults used. That's tough. That is tough for the Reaper. That's three ults. We need to do them all now. Okay, Wrecking Ball is just saving mines for later on. All right, here we go. Now you're healing your Mercy. Good job. 
You can swift step. Remember, your mercy is behind you. Okay, I need to. I, we need to talk about this for a second. I I need to understand this. You didn't swift step to your mercy and spawn. Who needed help? You didn't try to swift step to the ash. I mean, you could argue that's not the best one. You swift step to a bob off of the point. Also, Jan, I'm going to check off. Hold on to ultimate for quite a while because I think the wrecking ball has just been kind of saving the ultimate at times. <sighs> Actually, I like this because you can swift step to your wrecking ball to the right. This is going to be good. Why aren't you swift stepping? I, I need to know now. I, I need to know. We're gonna see, watch. We're gonna see Swift step out of spawn, but not to get out, ever. Yep. Nope, never mind. Nope. Yeah. Nope, nope, good luck, Anna. Yeah, we're not getting, you're not getting Swift stepped on. Are you kidding me right now? That ain't happening. That's one ult, that's two ults. Kasune, that's three ults. That's four alts. <laughs> Wait, how many have been used? One, two, three, four, five? Five alts? Wasn't it five alts? Okay, you know what? We'll take that. I'll count that as an alt domino. Let's do it. That was tough, by the way. Uh, ultimate domino. We'll check that one off because it's another uh, bingo. That's what we like to see. Not bad. Also, Alton with low HP happened also. Sorry, I'm gonna check that one off too. Oh, well, the Ash ulted and fell over immediately. You know what? Good call. I don't even remember if that happened, but I, I, I'm going with what chat says. There you go, checked off, perfect. All right, so you have a Reinhardt now. This is interesting. Kind of gonna help break out of spawn doors here. Oh, that's a Moira. Nice. That was a play by their Moira. I love the part where their Moira just went into your spawn. I feel like we could count how many times you've swift stepped this game. It's like three. Now, will the other team run to the point one by one because it's overtime? Yep. Here we go. It's time. Yep. Oh, yeah. Here we go. It's overtime. Gotta run to the point one by one. Yeah, there it is. The classic. The absolute classic. Overtime spawns are longer. When you're in overtime, it's better to prioritize getting a good team fight in and going in so that you're getting the full value, whether that's building ultimates, getting ultimates out. If you do this, they're going to be on long overtime spawns. And that's this is what you're seeing right now. Everybody keeps going to the cart one by one, trying to stop that cart. And the problem, like I said, is you are in overtime spawns. You will have longer spawns. This is what you're seeing right now. This is why this is happening. That is a Reaper Elf. That is... <clears throat> wow. All right. All right, I got a couple things to check off here. We're going to check off alts after a team fight is one slash lost. That's checked off. That's another bingo. We're also going to check off people run to the cart one by one during overtime. That is a second bingo. Two more bingos right there off of that alone. It just keeps happening. It just keeps going in over and over again. Like, it just keeps happening. That team needs to regroup. It's not worth getting the overtime spawns. Regroup. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. What a treat. Be careful. You can swift step this. You can swift step. Yeah! Let's go! That's a really big slam right there, chat. No one touches the point slash cart. We're checking that off. Oh yeah, the Doom the Doom technically did go AFK for like a tenth of a second chance. So let's check it off. We got a bingo on that one too. I, I do I do remember that. When they're at the bottom of the stairs, we'll check that off. Why not? Because I feel like that part of the map you can actually position to not get pooped off the point at all. Um, on top of the right having the follow-up shatter, I'm content with that. All right. Well, you know what, chat? We've been waiting all day to check this one off, so we'll just check this one off. Tank falls over, I'm a tank. There you go. Bingo. Hear me out. 
I might check off the heal in one too. I have a feeling that Doomfist was expecting to get healed there and didn't. And plus, I just want to see more of the bingo card complete. We're counting that as a bingo too. I'm counting that one too. Because I, I, I guarantee you that Doom wanted heals when nobody could heal him at that point. Checking that one off too. Got three left. Yeah, I haven't heard any voice line spam either. Now, keep in mind, I talked about, like, being, like, far away. This is I'm fine with. If you're in a good spot because you're calm. This is, like, the difference of what I was talking about earlier. With you being further away, that's a cleanse. That's gonna be... Here goes your May. Yep. I still would like to see you use Swift's, Swift Step. He said the lack of swift step is honestly. It, you, you, you know what? I, I think you're right. I think we might have to check that off. Just the overall usage of swift step. This Kiriko definitely plays pretty far away, for sure. I mean, at times it's medium range. I, I like. I still think your damage output has been solid, and I think your healing's been pretty pretty okay. So like, overall that's been good. But there's definitely a lot of room for improvement on this. Is that a swift step? Let's go! Did I see that? Nice Kitsune. Uh-oh. Good cleanse. Nice. Big slam. Uh-oh. I think you win this? Okay, yeah, you win this. Good job getting the Torp Tart. Good cleanse. All right, nice job. <clears throat> Good job. That was looking tough for a second, chat. First of all, I'm gonna check off question marks. Chat's right. Your swift step usage this game, we're just gonna check that off. Cause you never used it. No voice line spam. I didn't really see anybody get stuck into anything. I mean, it probably happened, but I just didn't see it, so I'm not going to check that off. But that was a that was a quality bingo card, okay? But you, I'm going to give you a little bit of feedback. You need to start using your Swift Step more, and you can wall climb a little bit more, too. Like, you're just not... You're leaving so much of your kit on the table that, like, you could actually be getting so much more value. A perfect example is, like, your Mercy. Your Mercy's like, I need a heal, please. And you're like, you know what? You do need a heal, but there's a wall in front of you, and I can't heal you. And that's what it felt like. I think we should Swift Step, like, seven times. Like, I, if, if, like, the editor went and added a Swift Step counter, I don't even know if it would hit double digits. And that was a 30-minute game. I did think you had a pretty decent balance of damage and healing. I think that can always improve. That can be in any rank, right? Like, damage and healing, like, finding that balance, it, it takes a long time. Wasn't too bad, okay? Overall, though, I, I felt like you played it fairly well. That was, that was a good one. Almost completed the whole bingo card. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. Sub to all three YouTubes if you haven't. A lot of awesome videos on there. If you want to submit your own game for spectating or possibly bingo, look in the description below. My Discord's there. Follow everything in the description if you have. That being said, hope you have an amazing day slash night.